Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Megan and today I'm finally going to be doing the tag from Dale's Addiction Holidays and Handbags. This is just to get us thinking about traveling again, reliving some of our past experiences, and I love traveling. It's way better than any handbag, any luxury purchase. Traveling is the best and is definitely where I want to just put all of my money. I was able to buy quite a few purses last year because we weren't traveling, but uh, I wouldn't trade it. Absolutely not. So one of my favorite places to go is New York. I, gosh, okay. I have to share the story about this pouch because my grandmother got me this probably about 20 years ago. I was maybe like eight or 10 years old when she gave it to me. My sister, she got one that said Paris on it and I still use this on every single trip. It carries my toiletries, it's just a simple pouch. The color is really faded, but I just, I, I love it. My grandma got it for me, how can I not love it? But there's, you know, the nylon is kind of stained but there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. No loose threads, nothing wrong with the zipper, but it does just carry my, my travel minis. It sits, it sits on my dresser when I'm not using it. So I have that. Okay, so to share with you, five bags that I would bring when I'm traveling. Dale said there was no limitation on luggage. I have never brought five handbags with me as much as I would love to. I'm one of those people where I get really anxious having to have a checked bag. I know it's silly, I know it's just my thing, but pretty much when I travel abroad, I take like one small suitcase. Even when, when I went to India, I had a backpack, a big backpack, like, you know, one of those backpacking type backpacks, but just a backpack for two weeks. And even when I went to Paris, oh man, I used to travel really light in my early 20s and, in my late 20s now, I definitely carry a lot more with me, even though I've gotten a lot better. I've like pared down my skincare routine, things like that. Uh, so this was kind of a dream, the idea of getting to carry five handbags with me. Even though all of these are pretty practical, you'll see they're on the smaller side. If you're new to my channel, I don't carry big bags for the most part. So to get started, obviously I'm gonna be spending some days out in New York City going to thrift stores, vintage shops, some luxury boutiques. Some of my favorite things to do are to go to some of the museums there. If you haven't been to the Cloisters, it's awesome. It's worth the trek up north. But I would be using my Dior Forever bag. Obviously, it has every color you could possibly want, so it's gonna go with any outfit. I wouldn't say any of these bags are season specific. I have some bags that I would never take to New York City in the wintertime. For example, my white classic flap, um, or like my uh, wicker bag, right? So, but all of these bags would work any time of year. The thing I love about this one in particular, it comes with a gold chain, so you can wear it as a crossbody bag. You can also tie a scarf, a little mitza, around these D-rings to create like a little cleft situation. Or what I imagined doing is using a guitar strap. These things are insanely comfortable and Dior is now carrying adjustable ones, finally. So it's so much more practical. But this is really cool. I, I like this because they're insanely comfortable. You're gonna be walking a ton anytime we go to New York City. Like we've walked across the Brooklyn Bridge before because there are some incredible vintage shops there. I mean, if you are driving there, it's a great place to get furniture also. So, I mean, I just, I want, <laughs> I don't want my bag to slow me down. And even though this is really small, it can carry everything I need it to. I don't carry a ton when I'm out. And I will have a little bit, uh, a bigger bag in a second. But this fits everything I need it to. I can have like my subway card, my wallet, my phone, and I'm good to go. I'll probably have my glasses on my face. <laughs> so it what, doesn't matter if they can't fit in there. But I love the options for the different straps. So I could tie a mitza around it. It's just really fun and colorful and something different. Also, none of these bags would be easy to get into. So you don't have to worry so much about pickpockets. I like that they're smaller and close to my body. Up next, obviously the next best thing to do in New York is to go to all the different restaurants and bars. 
I love all the food there. My husband and I, we most recently went to Fravo, which was an insane experience. I think there were only maybe six couples allowed and you were sitting along this bar where all the food prep is happening in front of you. It was such a decadent meal. I, I don't know how many courses there were. I lost track and there were all the little bits and they're just really cool restaurants. We also went to cafeteria when we were there, but the best thing to do is to go to a bunch of speakeasies. I don't personally like loud bars. I'm such a grandma in that way. I mean, me and my cardigans and my quiet spaces and my tea, I, I don't really like loud bars. So for dinners out, I picked these two bags. So you have something black, very sensible. Both of these are good during the day. Obviously I would use them and then something bright red and fun. I like that these are both cross body bags. I am very careful on nights out. I'm a lightweight, let's just get that out of the way. I'm such a lightweight, but I love to try the different cocktails at these speakeasies. They're really fun. They're, I could never make them at home. So I really like to try them. And it pretty, takes me like maybe uh, two cocktails in and I don't want to risk losing my purse. So I love that these are crossbody and I can wear them the entire time. Then you also don't have to worry about where you're setting them down. Is it sticky? Is it, you know, are you going to leave something behind? Is someone going to snatch your bag? All those things that I don't want to be worrying about on a fun night out. Like this being a crossbody bag that's super slim. I'm not gonna notice that I'm still wearing it when I'm sitting at a bar. I don't have to put it on a hook or anything. So that, that is just my opinion. I can have this across me and it's not gonna get in the way of me having a good time. I'm not gonna have to worry about forgetting it or losing it or someone nicking it. So yes, these would be my two bags of choice and obviously they're good during the day. Just really light, I prefer lighter bags. This one can carry sunglasses if I need it to. I'll link the video down below where I show everything that can fit in it. But this bag is my go-to travel bag. In fact, when I most recently went to New York, when I got my Fendi bag, these were the two bags that I took with me. This would be my next choice. This would be my fourth bag that I bring along with me. This bag is amazing. Both of these are such good travel bags. I don't have to worry about them getting squashed in my luggage. I did put it, you know, on the top of my uh, weekend duffel and, you know, it was fine. I didn't have to worry about it getting scuffed. None of these are lambskin, obviously. And then this bag would just be really fabulous for a day out. It's a bigger bag. It's not the lightest bag among these, but my husband and I, we probably walked a good seven, eight miles when we were there. And I didn't feel the weight of this until maybe six miles. And that's pretty good for a big hefty bag. I carried a phone charger with me, my notebook, my wallet, my phone. I think I even had my work phone with me at the time, sunglasses. If you need more stuff with you, this is a great option. I love this bag for nights out and obviously I mean, it's just really cool. It's something different to all the rest with the big chunky chains. It's black, it has a great texture. I love this bag with uh, leather jackets. And actually, uh, when it comes to thrift shops, vintage shops, leather jackets are my favorite thing to find. They're obviously a lot more affordable. It's nice to um, get something vintage, I guess. And I really like the look of the tweed against a leather jacket. Last but not least, on my ideal trip to New York, something I really love to do is to have a little picnic in the park. Everybody likes to do this because it's a lot of fun. You know, you can rent bikes, you can go around, you can just find a sunny spot and chill out after all that walking and shopping and eating. It's nice just to have a day in the sun. And the bag I would bring is my Longchamp tote. This thing is so handy. I held off on the Longchamp totes for a really long time. I would see them everywhere walking through the city, women on their way to work, and now I understand the hype. These things are fantastic. Obviously it's great for travel because you can fold it all up, you can button it up. It's a really sturdy nylon, so it's great for when you're going to those thrift shops and you don't want to like, you don't want to carry around your extra shopping bag. If you're just getting small things, you can fit it in here. Going to the park, you can bring a rolled up blanket with you, a book, a notebooks, 
grab some like sandwiches from the deli. I, I think all of that is a really good way to spend a day. And this is a great bag to do it with. It can fit a ton. You don't have to worry about it if it's raining. If you do end up buying anything when you're visiting the city, because I mean, obviously I'm going to be picking up some things, that's for sure. I can use this, uh, you know, to, to pack it all up when we're heading out. Does anyone ever find that where when you're packing up from a trip, when you're getting ready to go, it seems like all of your stuff expanded, you know, you had it all nice and tidy. You even had some extra room on your way there but just everything <laughs> expands. So I love now having this long champ tote with me, bringing it empty and then having it for overflow. So yeah, so that was my, those were my five bags that I would take on my trip to New York. We're actually gonna be moving to New Jersey soon. So I'm really hoping to have some day trips into the city and I can hopefully take you around and see what I get up to. Anyway, thank you so much to Dale for making this video. Let me know the next place that you're excited to travel to and uh, what you'd wanna bring with you, what you wanna do there. Anyway, thanks so much for watching and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.